Hey my loves, it's Kaylin Rose and I'm back with a couple of verses of the day. Today's verses of the day are coming from Jeremiah and I'm so excited to share this message with you because this is one of the first verses that I had come to me when I first started YouTube and did my testimony. So this is going to be about Jeremiah and the call on his life. So we're starting off at verse 4. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. This is Jeremiah saying, At last, sovereign Lord. I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations in kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow and to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see the branch of an almond tree, I replied. The Lord said to me, you have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. The word of the Lord came to me again. What do you see? I see a pot that is boiling, I answered. It is tilting toward us from the north. The Lord said to me, From the north, disaster will be poured out on all who live in the land. So this message is already talking about how because we think we are too young and in the eyes of older people or younger people, we're too young to do things. God, when God gives a direct order, he means for it to be fulfilled. He's saying that I already appointed you to do whatever you're called to do. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're in high school. I don't care if you're in middle school. You're going to be different. You're going to be whatever I have told you in your ear and promised you you were going to be. So he, God called Jeremiah at a young age and he's basically telling him how do not be afraid. I am going to be with you. I'm going to rescue you. Like you don't need anyone on your side for this kind of help because the help Jesus gives is undeniable and it will show fruit. It will show your power. You can rely on him when you're afraid. And so God said he reached out and touched Jeremiah's mouth. So you don't even have to worry about what to say because God already put it in you what to say. You don't need necessarily a mentor. You don't need necessarily any um, pastor to tell you what to say. Because once God touches you, now it's a personal relationship is what he's saying to Jeremiah. We have a personal relationship. As long as we communicate and talk, you have the words of my mouth in you. So you will know what to say whenever you are told to speak. And so... God says about tearing down and rooting up, he means he wants you to build. Build on whatever God's calling you to do and plant it. So when you plant something, it gets buried deep into the ground. So it has roots. So when you're building on that foundation of God, you're able to create something for his kingdom, such as a ministry or a platform like YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram and so even a podcast and so God is saying it's time to tear down the old lifestyle or habits you were living or customs and cultures you were showing off to build up his kingdom his customs his word his glory that's what he means when it's a time to tear down and build and plant he's like tear down how you used to present yourself and let's build and plant on top of the new foundation with God. So God today is saying, you need to build up yourself through God. You cannot do this alone. He will help you. He will rescue you. Do not keep building on the same person, the same habits, the same 
mindset you used to because it's time to move on it's time to tear that lifestyle down so you can live fruitful in what he has called you to be what he wants for you and so he asked jeremiah what do you see and so the branch of the almond tree means that god is watching over you he's watching your every move so he will have his hand in all that you do that's a symbolism that god's hand is on you so for jeremiah was an almond tree but for me for example it will be like in my tiktok or youtube channel and instagram i know the lord is watching me because he sends me various symbols to symbolize like i hey i really am with you i don't be afraid i will rescue you and i will be with you and i put words in your mouth so i already know that god is watching over all that i do that's why i keep going and i continuously fight the good fight and so then Jer he's because god wants to make sure that his stuff is fulfilled so of course he's going to be watching over he has to make sure that you're attending to your duties what you devoted yourself to do for him and so then god asked him what asks jeremiah what do you see and jeremiah says i see a pot that is boiling so the pot symbolizes all the people who the pot symbolizes all the people who are disobedient and very aggressive towards God and who are building foundations that are not of God, that don't have his morals, don't have his commandments involved in their life. He's saying disaster, a boiling pot of disaster will be poured out on those people. He is not with them. He's not watching over them. His hand is in in anything they're doing god is saying it is going to be disastrous for people who are not relying on the lord who are not answering the call in their life who are thinking that they are too young to do what the lord says to do who who believe they can't do it because god is saying once you do it you'll realize wow i could have done this all along and look at me i am currently doing it that's exactly what happened to me. You think you can't do something until you do it and it's already done. And that's why God is saying, just do it with me because I am with you. You're not in this alone. God is really telling his children that you are not in anything alone. You're not in that job alone. You're not in that relationship alone. You're not in that family alone. You are never by yourself when you have a relationship with God. He will reveal and show his hand in your life if you seek him if you accept the call on your life you're not too young you whatever age you are this is the perfect time this is divine timing this is the right time he called you for your time not too early not too late you're right on time if he's calling you so today I just want to let someone know that you do not have to be afraid. God will be making sure and tweaking all your moves to make sure they align with his will for you. He will not let you fall short of who you are called to be. So I love you guys and I hope you guys have a blessed day.